Welcome back. All right, so I haven't done a career video in a while. Uh, the career videos generally don't perform that well, but I felt like in Tempo Numenon's case, I'm going to do the video. I don't expect a lot of eyeballs on said video, but he had a good career. He had an interesting career too, and sadly is one of those players who's played a ton of games and did not win a Stanley Cup in his career. Spoiler alert and all that, right? So he was a number 29 pick of the Winnipeg Jets in 1986, and he would be in that organization for almost two decades, if you included him being drafted by them. 88-89, uh, he made his debut for the Winnipeg Jets, played 69 games, one goal, 14 assists, 15 points. One thing with Newman is he was very remarkably consistent. Uh, his offense would show up in year two, 89-90, 79 games, 11 goals, 32 assists, 43 points. And he very quickly becomes a workhorse for the Winnipeg Jets. In the playoffs, he adds a goal and two assists for seven in, in seven games, three points in seven games. Uh, 90 91, 80 games played, eight goals, 25 assists, 33 points. I remember the Jets missed the playoffs by one point behind the Canucks that year. Uh, 91 92, 80 games, five goals, 34 assists, 39 points. In the playoffs, he had zero points in seven games played. Uh, 92 93, played 66 games that year. Seven goals, 30 assists, 37 points. In the playoffs, he adds a goal and an assist for two points in six games. So through his first five seasons, the rookie season, of course, just the 15 points, but between 33 and 43 points every year uh, for the next four years. Now it drops off a bit in 93-94. He misses some games, plays 57 altogether, but his scoring rate is still pretty good at five goals, 18 assists, 23 points. And again, he's a very reliable two-way defenseman. He plays a lot of minutes. It's before they were tracking minutes like they do now, but he played a ton. 94-95, a lockout shortened season, plays 42 of the 48 games, five goals, 16 assists, 21 points. Point every other game, he was on pace for 41 points that year. 95-96, uh, 74 games played, 11 goals, 34 assists, 54 points. He has his best year with the Jets. In a year that we all know the Jets were moving, uh, there was no secret that the Winnipeg Jets were moving. Now, the Jets made the playoffs, and I think part of the reason they made the playoffs is because that team worked their hearts out, realizing this was their last year in Winnipeg. In the playoffs, no points for Newman and in six games. And he goes to Arizona, and the reason I'm wearing Arizona for this video is because he stays with the organization. He stays remarkably consistent, minus that first year in Arizona. And he would stay with this organization for what totals to 15 seasons. And it's remarkable. And the Arizona Coyotes organization really uh, has shown that they appreciated what he did for them as well. So in 82 games that first year of 96-97 with the Coyotes, two goals, 25 assists, 27 points. So that's the first time we've seen a drop-off. It wouldn't stay that way. In the playoffs, he picked it up too. Three goals, three assists for six points in seven games. So he scores more goals in the playoffs than he did in the regular season. That wouldn't happen again. 97-98, uh, 82 games, 11 goals, 40 assists for 51 points. He only played one game in the playoffs. He was ninth in Norris voting. So he got he got some attention. He was not a Norris winner or a top three guy, but he got some attention. And probably would have got more votes if he'd been more readily seen than he was in Winnipeg or Arizona. 98-99, uh, 82 games, 10 goals, 30 assists, 40 points. In the playoffs, he adds two goals and an assist <clears throat> for three points in seven games. And he did get to play in the All-Star game that year. That was his first All-Star appearance, which is kind of a surprise a decade into his career, but at least he got there. 99-2000, 79 games played, eight goals, 34 assists, 42 points. He adds a goal and an assist for two points in five playoff games. And again, an All-Star game appearance for Newmanen. 2000-2001, 72 games played, 5 goals, 26 assists, 31 points. So that's a drop-off, but he did play in the All-Star game for a third and final time that year as well. 2001-2002, he jumps back up. Uh, 76 games played, 13 goals, which was, which was a career high, 35 assists, 48 points. The Coyotes do get back into the playoffs. He plays four games with them, no points in those four games. He was 7th in Norris voting that year and 8th in Lady Bing. So again, very solid, solid defenseman, two-way player, played a ton of minutes. That continued. 2002-2003, 78 games played, 6 goals, 34 assists, 40 points. And then he gets traded. One year left in his contract, so they traded him to the Dallas Stars in exchange for Mike Sillinger. Dallas looking for some 
uh, depth on the blue line, Sillinger, a useful uh, third, fourth line center at that stage in his career, uh, could play second line too. Sillinger worked up and down the lineup. There's a reason that he played with as many teams as he did. There was always somebody else that wanted his services. Uh, so 2003-2004, 62 games played, 3 goals, 14 assists, 17 points. Uh, it didn't work out as well in Dallas as I think he and the Stars would have hoped. In the playoffs, he adds 1 assist in 4 games. So he becomes a free agent. Uh, we lose a whole season of hockey, however, for 4 5 which is another 70-75 games he could have played that year, and he would have been over 1,400 games in his career. But any time we get into the discussion of how many games have been lost through um, various lockouts and, and, and things that have happened with the NHL, people will step in and talk about how certain milestones are tougher to reach because of the amount of hockey that's been missed. So 5 6 he ends up in Buffalo. August 4th of 2005, he signs with the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, 75 games played that year, just the two goals. So the goal scoring uh, at that point has dropped off, but he does get 38 assists for 40 points. But that year, he did get out of the first round in the playoffs. Plays 12 games, one goal, one assist for two points. So he does get to somewhere in the playoffs. 2006-2007, a banner year for the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, 79 games, two goals, 27 assists, 29 points. In the playoffs, he adds four assists in 16 games. So on November 13th of that season, he played his 1,252nd game, which was the most by a player born in Finland. He passed Yari Curry for that mark. So kudos to him for that. But then before the 07-08 season starts, he has heart surgery. Now, Darcy Regeer, who's GM of the Buffalo Sabres at the time, does not think that the heart surgery is covered by insurance so he suspends him right so i mean it's not like newman and didn't have to have the surgery he had to have open heart surgery but it was something that that for insurance reasons buffalo suspended him over he would return before the season was over but just as the season's coming to an end he plays one game at the end of the year uh so he missed the first 81 so Newman had decided he wanted to come back and play in the NHL for one more year, and he opted to re-sign with the Buffalo Sabres, which shows there was no bad feelings about, you know, the, the team looking after themselves with his surgery and all that. He does play one final year, 08-09, plays 57 games in Buffalo, two goals, 15 assists, 17 points. So remarkably consistent player throughout, 1,372 games played, which is 48th on the all-time list. Uh, 117 goals, 520 assists, 637 points, which is very good for a defenseman. In the playoffs, he played 82 games, so one full season of playoffs, 9 goals, 14 assists, 23 points. Hey, points are harder to come by in the playoffs. Uh, he did get silver at the 1988 World Junior Championship. He got silver as well at the 2004 World Cup. At the Olympics, he got medals three times with Finland. Uh, silver in 1988 and 2006, bronze in 1998. Uh, he was added to the Ring of Honor by the Arizona Coyotes in 2010. And of course, the Jets have placed him in their Hall of Fame in 2022. Uh, in this case, both cities, understanding what he did for them. And it's, it's a long time. He was part of an organization that really wasn't it, it was an organization people would have understood him saying, you know, I'd like to go somewhere and win. I'd, I'd like an opportunity to win a Stanley Cup. And I never heard it out of him. Uh, he was just very consistent, good foot soldier. And he he did his job and he did it well. So there you go. Uh, newest addition to the Jets Hall of Fame that I had not done a video on. I have done a video on Tamo Solani. But there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.